Hello everyone and welcome to this Knowledge Share sessions. My name is Arnaud Varin. I'm the Senior Project Manager for Typical Sphere Visual Analytics, Data Management and Data Functions. And so yeah, today I will share everything that is new in our latest release, Spotfire 11.8. I do not intend to make any forward looking statement today, but in the case I do, we have this disclaimer in place here. Okay, so Tipco's mission uh, is to help its customers innovate by providing the most advanced software tools and capabilities to connect their systems, unify their data and predict the future. Connect, unify and predict form three pillars that constitute the Tipco connected intelligence which solves the most complex data problems across all types of industry. And within the predict pillar, TIPCO provides market leading technologies for every single type of analytics. We are the only vendor that is a leader in all three analytics markets, visual analytics, data sciences, and streaming analytics. This means that we can help solve every type of problem that involves understanding data to figure out what happened in the past, what, what's happening right now, and help predict confidently what is going to happen next. And looking at the analytics markets, we see a great convergence. We see a convergence of technologies with human insights, data, machine learning, and automations coming together and we also observe a convergence of user types. And this convergence is something Chipco uniquely can deliver on with what we call hyperconverged analytics. Hyperconverged analytics brings visual analytics, data science, and streaming capabilities together in a seamless experience that delivers immersive, smart, real-time business insights in an easy to use and tailored way built for data-driven decisions at scale, both by humans and automated processes. And this brings me to Spotfire. Spotfire is used across all analytics or business intelligence use cases. This is a full spectrum analytics platform that supports visual analytics and data science, dashboards and reports, analytic applications, embedded analytics, and analytics on the field using mobile devices. And to support all these BI use cases, it lets you use all kinds of data, static data, real-time data, big or small data, in memory or in database and in any combination. So Spotfire 11.8, uh, this release will be available very shortly as a mainstream release. Uh, we have new mainstream releases approximately every one to two months. And these releases are dedicated to customers who want to get the latest features and enhancements as quickly as possible. If you're using long-term support releases, Spotfire 1010 and 11.4 10, are still the current LTS releases, still under support, and they are not affected by this release. With Spotfire 11.8, we are focusing on two main areas, data discovery and administration deployment. Starting with discovery, visual analytics and data wrangling are both needed to find answers to questions using data. They both are an integral part of the data discovery experience in Spotfire. And they both use data science and AI to speed up the user experience and also lead to new insights you might not find otherwise. We've talked about data functions quite a lot uh, with the last few Spotfire releases. We think data functions provide the quickest and easiest way to get started with data science and scale data science across an organization. They enable analysts and business users to do complex things with data without knowing the technical side. Data functions are ready to use 
no code and reusable building blocks, adding new capabilities to spot fair. From simple data preparation, data, data enrichment and data cleansing to advanced calculations using automated machine learning techniques and predictive model operations, data functions quickly augment data analysis without writing a line of code or using complex statistics. And for data scientists, data functions are a smart way to package R, Python, MATLAB, SAS functions, and distribute them within their organization. As I said, we think data functions provide the quickest and easiest way to get started with data science and scale data science across an organization. With a few clicks, you can apply complex data operations just by selecting a model and pointing it to data. Depending on the model, additional data tables, columns, or rows are generated that you can directly add to visualizations using drag and drop for in-depth analysis. Data functions is a true point and click data science experience. In Spotfire, data science is part of the visual analytics experience. It is integrated with your visual analytics flow. You can create powerful new insights based on data functions and directly tune parameters from visualizations and observe the effects in visualization instantly. There is no need to leave the visual analytics experience to apply data science techniques. In Spotfire, you are one click away to all your favorite data functions and statistical tools using the FX flyout. This is also the place where you can search for data functions made available in the Spotfire library and pin them to the FX flyout if you plan to reuse them in the future. And finally, data functions are also part of the data canvas. The data canvas was designed to provide a complete picture of your data and to alter your data models from visual data pipelines. Data functions are part of it to quickly inform you about how a data function is set, what data is taken as inputs, and how its results are used within your analysis. And with this great user experience for data science, in Spotfire comes a library of data functions that are ready to use. There's already a great number of data functions in various categories like data preparation, data modeling, predict prediction, uh, data access, geospatial. They range from simple data preparation, like removing duplicates, to really advanced functions like wafer pattern detection and gradient boosting machine regression. In Spotfire, when it comes to data discovery, in Spotfire 11.8, we have new we have new features and enhancements both for data functions and visualizations. First step with data functions, with the ability to load a R or Python script file when creating a new data function. So you can write your script in external tools in your preferred IDE like Visual Studio Code, R Studio, Jupyter, and others. Save the script as a file and just import it when registering a new data function in Spotfire. So you don't have to copy paste the script anymore, which may be prone to errors. So now you just load the files to create a data function and then set the inputs and output parameters. We've also made a few refinements to the new data function UIs. For instance, some data functions may contain lots of input parameters with some parameters marked as required some others as optional. So now you can decide to group the optional parameters and have all the required ones on top. We think this will be useful, especially when you have data functions with a large number of parameters to set. It makes them a, a bit faster to, to set up. We are also now showing the eventual descriptions for output parameters, as you see here. And then we've been also working on making the eventual errors generated by a data function presented in a friendlier way, especially when you have R or Python packages that are missing uh, to run the function. Since you releases, and as I just said before, data functions are part of the data canvas. The data canvas was designed to provide a complete picture of your data 
And we are continuing this effort by making data functions output settings now directly editable from the data canvas as well. Makes it easy to adapt a data function to changes in your analytic context. And we think it's also a great access point for reviewing all output parameters. And along with this, you can now also quickly navigate from a data function output to its corresponding data table and the other way around within the data canvas. We've added a navigation button directly to each output node for quick navigation to the corresponding data table. Now about visualizations, we have a few new visualizations available. First, with the base, basic text area, which um, as its name suggests, allows you to add simple text areas from the spot player web client so that you can add textual descriptions to your analysis or dashboard. This visualization supports custom formatting using Markdown or HTML, and it also supports displaying SVG images. We also have a new visualization type, the rose chart. At first, it looks very similar to a pie chart, except the sectors angles are equal and their size differ in how far they extend from the center of the circle. So basically, diff basically the difference with a, with a pie chart is that the value is represented by the eight of a sector rather than, than its radius. The type of chart is commonly used for showing wind speeds or um, noise levels, for instance. We have a major update to the network chart. Network chart was one of the first visualization published using the MODS framework. And with this update, the network chart now supports marking data so that you can mark a node and its end nodes. And this update also comes with many optimizations, which makes the chart run much smoother than before. Now coming soon, uh, probably this week, we will have two additional visualizations. The scrollable bar chart uh, pretty much looks like a traditional horizontal bar chart, except that it is scrollable vertically um, if more bars need to be shown. And there are a few customization options to show labels for values, percentages, and also to sort the bars by values. This mode was built and shared by Olga Szymanski, a spot here. The timeline visualization will also be released very soon. This is a simple, very nice looking visualization to show events on an horizontal scrollable timeline. And you can even automate the scrolling as I did here. And with these new visualizations, it means that we have now 23 new visualizations since the release of Spotfire 11 and the MODS framework. 23 new visualizations in addition to the standard visualization that comes built in Spotfire. And so like Olger, if you built a mod, you can share it with the Tipco's users community by submitting to the Tipco community exchange. All mods submitted are reviewed based on a set of technical, content, and design criteria. They have to meet certain specific code and features requirements. They are described in the guideline, and they have to pass these requirements to get approved for publication and validated on the Tipco Community Exchange. In addition to new visualizations, we also have new features for visualization nodes. First, you can now add rules to show or hide items in visualization nodes. The show hide items tab is now available in the visualization mods properties when using the Spotfire Analyst client. And these rules applies in the visualization uh, when opening the analysis in the web client. Also, you can now, now add the locally saved visualizations, uh, the .mod files, to an analysis page from the files and data flyout just by browsing from local files. And now you can also use the find feature in Spotfire to search for mods. You can use it to search for all mods accessible from the library using the type mod expression, 
or you can search for specific modes just by typing their name. And this is what's new for data discovery in Spotfire 11.8. Now let's see what's new for administration and deployment of the, the Spot platform. First, with action logs. Action logs collect and log users' actions. They are organized by categories, subcategories, actions, and properties that you can analyze to understand usages and also correlate with system monitoring. Action logs gives insights in how Spotfire is used, showing how many users log in and load analyses or dates, or showing how many users save or export or share the analyses, or showing how users interact with Spotfire analyses. And with Spotfire 11.8, we've added new types of action logs for data functions to better collect information about data function and audit their usages. For example, actions like adding a data function, configuring a data function, editing a data function, or executing a data function are, are now logged as part of the action logs. Same uh, for removing uh, a data function or pinning data function to the FX layout. All of this is now logged and analyzable. Now the web admin. Um, with Spotfire 11.7, we introduced a completely new, faster and easy user interface for administrators. And now in Spotfire 11.8, we are making some refinements to the side panels by making, making them resizable. You can, now, you can now resize the main and secondary side panels in the admin UI. We think this will make it easier to navigate from different device, uh, devices and different screen sizes. One of our pillars with platform administration and deployment is freedom. Uh, freedom of being vendor neutral, freedom to be cloud agnostic. And as you may know, we, we already support AWS S3 storage as the Spotfire library external file storage for quite some time. And now with Spotfire 11.8, we are adding support for Azure Blob storage. So you can use the same capability in other major cloud service providers. PostgreSQL is the most appreciated relational database among professionals and the only one that grows in popularity year after year. And with Spotfire 11.8, we are adding support for PostgreSQL 14 as the Spotfire server database, both for Windows and Linux. PostgreSQL 14 is the latest stable version and it's supported by the major cloud providers. Spotfire 11.8 also adds support for Windows 11 for its clients, including analyst, desktop, business author, and consumer. And we are also adding support for Windows Server 2022 to the Spotfire platform. Same if you are using Citrix or remote desktop services uh, for the Spotfire analyst and the client. We are adding support for Windows Server 2022 with these tools. And this is what's new in Spotfire 11.8. Uh, 11.8 brings multiple refinements to the visual data science experience. It makes it easier, faster, and auditable with action logs. We are also adding new visualizations, improvements to the mods capabilities, and we are continuing to integrate as usual with best-in-breed projects with support for uh, the latest PostgreSQL and Windows versions. Thank you. Mm -hmm.